Ever wondered how robots perceive and interact with their environment? How they navigate through a room, pick up objects, or even respond to people? The answer lies in their sensors. Sensors are the eyes, ears, and fingertips of robots, providing them with the data they need to interact with the world around them. Imagine a world with seven types of primary sensors, each one playing a pivotal role, each one with a unique purpose. First, we have vision sensors. Consider a camera, the robot's eye, capturing visual information and enabling the robot to recognize objects, people, and surroundings. Or take LiDAR, which uses lasers to measure distances, creating a three-dimensional map of the environment. This enables obstacle detection and navigation, much like a bat uses echolocation. Next in line are tactile and force sensors, Imagine a pressure sensor as a robot's skin, detecting contact and pressure. This allows robots to handle delicate objects and measure forces during their interactions. Then there are grippers with force feedback, giving robots a sense of touch and the ability to grasp objects with just the right amount of force. Let's move on to proximity sensors. Picture ultrasonic sensors that emit and receive sound waves to gauge distances and detect objects, aiding in obstacle avoidance and navigation or infrared sensors, which measure distances by emitting and detecting infrared light, a useful tool for detecting nearby objects. Don't forget about gyroscopes and accelerometers. A gyroscope is like a robot's inner ear, measuring angular velocity and helping robots maintain their balance. An accelerometer, on the other hand, measures acceleration forces, enabling robots to detect changes in movement and inclination. For long distances, robots use GPS receivers, receiving signals from satellites to determine their position on Earth, just like the GPS in your car. Then we have compass sensors. A magnetometer measures magnetic fields, providing information about the robot's orientation with respect to the Earth's magnetic field, just like a compass guiding a hiker. Last, but certainly not least, are inertial measurement units, or IMUs. These combine accelerometers, gyroscopes, and sometimes magnetometers to provide comprehensive data on a robot's motion, orientation, and acceleration. These sensors are the vital components that allow robots to perceive and interact with their environment. They enable robots to make informed decisions, navigate, and perform various tasks. Without them, robots would be blind, deaf, and numb, unable to interact with the world around them. So the next time you see a robot expertly navigating a room, picking up an object, or responding to a person, remember the sophisticated sensors that make it all possible. After all, in the world of robotics, perception is everything.